Hello, my name is Rocky Biasi. I created the Accidental Counselor Training in 2008 from my experience as a secondary high school teacher, school counselor, also in private practice for 23 years now. Since that time, I've had the honor of sharing this training with over 10,000 people online and face-to-face -face across Australia, New Zealand, and Southeast Asia. In this video, I want to provide an overview of the topics and themes we look at in the Level 1 Full Day Accidental Counselor Training. This training is supported by a library of over 70 different mental health and wellbeing courses online that you have access to, and this also includes the Advanced Level 2 Accidental Counselor. In the Accidental Counselor Training, we have three key themes of wellbeing, connection and influence that I'll share with you in the Accidental Counselor model. This model is one of three frameworks we also cover in the full day level one training. The other two frameworks are the referral framework, the coaching change framework, and in the referral framework, we help you establish boundaries or an understanding or agreement in terms of your role, what you can help with and what is outside of your scope. Also, in identifying warning signs of increasing mental health issues that are happening more often and lasting longer for yourself or the person that you're supporting and listening to. And also how to have an initial conversation about those warning signs and how to respond to resistance or reluctance in the person seeking help and further help and change. The Coaching Change Framework is a six-step six sequence that helps guide you to support people seeking change in their life. The Accidental Counselor model creates a visual representation of the three core themes in the Accidental Counselor. So let's just start in the Accidental Counselor model with the influence theme, which is all about how to use solution-focused, strengths-based language to help influence a conversation and help the person identify a next best step. The catchphrase for this is, ask, don't tell. That is, avoid giving unsolicited advice. The reason should be obvious. We don't like it, do we, when people start telling us what to do and how we should go about it. A more elegant and effective approach is to ask good solution-focused questions like, what have you tried? Or what's something that you can do that can make this a little better? When we ask solution-focused questions, the person's much more motivated because they take ownership of their next best step and it's an empowering way to engage. Empowering because the unintended consequence of rushing in with unsolicited advice is that you send the message to the person that they're not capable of dealing with this on their own and then they need you to fix it or make it better. Now, of course, you don't say that, nor do you think that. It's simply how it's received when we rush in to fix the issue for somebody uninvited. So the full day level one training is also self-paced. We look at these in we look at these solution focused questions, the goal setting or setting the agenda questions, scaling questions, exception questions, and the miracle question. In the face to face or in real time, the miracle question is covered in the level two advanced training. All of this is part of the library that you have access to when you register to the full day level one training. You know, before we ask solution focused questions, we should focus our attention on the person speaking and joining them in the pit. That is acknowledging, validating, normalizing how they're feeling. When we connect and listen in this way, the person feels heard and understood, they begin to calm down and they feel less alone. It's what we all want and crave. And I believe it's a beautiful thing that we could do for people when we create this safe space so that they feel heard and understood without judgment. And in this connection theme, we look at these topics, empathy versus sympathy, reflective listening, and de-escalating difficult conversations. To do this effectively, we need to focus on our own well-being and self-care. And my definition of well-being is what gives you good, sustainable energy. A focus on your own self-care is a protective factor, as we can be at risk of vicarious trauma, which can be a normal and natural response to the ongoing exposure to other people's trauma. Your well-being builds your capacity to create a safe space for another because, as an example, if you have unresolved grief yourself, 
you can be easily triggered by hearing others, other people's stories of grief. In the well-being theme, we look at the five stages of burnout, the PERMA, the five elements of well-being from positive psychology, and I also share a self-care plan and invite you to create your own. So there it is, what we cover in the full day level one training online or face to face. And when you attend, we actually gift you a free 12 month access to our library of over 70 different mental health and wellbeing courses, including the level one training and the level two advanced accidental counselor. I look forward to connecting with you online or face to face in the city or town near you.